Good morning. Thank you, everybody, for coming. My name is Lauren Sagayan. I'm the city's communications manager. Um, I'm just going to go over some details and then get into the press conference and give you guys the news. Thanks for coming. Um, we're here today to uh, give you a significant update about the double homicide case uh, that occurred on November 23rd, 2019. Uh, we have four speakers that will be speaking today um, in, in this specific order. First, Police Chief Jared Renetti. Second, State Attorney General Javier Bercera. Third, Chief Assistant District Attorney Kevin Dunleavy. And then last will be Union City uh, Mayor Carol Dutribonacci. Um, we expect the press conference to last about 20 minutes. At that time, we'll be concluding, and we're happy to take question and answer. Um, our Union City Police Department PIOs, Captain Travis Souza and Lieutenant Mendez, who are over there in the corner, um, they'll be coming up to kind of help facilitate the question and answer. Uh, we ask that you kindly hold your questions until the end. We want to make sure that everybody up here has an opportunity to speak. Um, and then lastly, I just want to note some special guests that we have in the audience, and I'm just going to ask that everybody, when I call your name, just raise your hand. Um, this is important for the media. You're welcome to um, go ahead, and, and if you have additional questions of our special guests, um, you're, you're certainly welcome to ask that after the press conference. We have Alameda County Supervisor Richard Valle. He's right behind me here. We have uh, City Council Member Jaime Patino. We have City Council Member Gary Singh. We have Union City City Manager Joe Malloy. We have Youth and Family Services Manager Pedro Naranjo, Hayward Police Chief Tony Chaplin and his team, uh, California Highway Patrol uh, Representative Captain Steven Perea, and then also uh, John Maddows, who's our representative from the New Haven Unified School District. So I'll go ahead and turn it over, and then I'll be back and forth to go ahead and uh, um, introduce each speaker as they come up. Good morning, and thank you for being here today. We invited the media and special guests to announce the arrest of two suspects in the vicious murder of 11-year-old Kevin Hernandez and 14-year-old Sean Withington. These murders took place on November 23, 2019, in an elementary school parking lot in Union City. During the early morning hours on that date, Sean and his friend Kevin were sitting in his mom's van in the parking lot. They were at a parking lot at Cyril's Elementary School, which is off Sherman Drive. It's about a quarter mile from Logan High School. At that time, a suspect entered the parking lot, pulled near Sean and Kevin, and then opened fire, gunning down both Sean and Kevin. When a heinous crime like this occurs in our community, the Union City Police Department prioritizes and commits all resources to the investigation. Our response was steadfast and immediate. In order to expand the scope of the investigation, we requested assistance from our law enforcement partners, the Attorney General's Office, the Department of Justice, the California Highway Patrol, their Special Operations Unit, the Alameda County Sheriff's Office, the Hayward Police Department, and the District Attorney's Office. Each of these organizations dedicated resources, equipment, and expertise to work side by side with our detectives. To put it in perspective, the Union City Police Department and our law enforcement partners dedicated over 32 investigators to this case, and we spent over 5,300 hours investigating this double murder. Thankfully, this team of investigators was able to gather enough evidence from advanced investigative techniques, electronic and physical surveillance, community tips, and other sources to identify both suspects in the double murder. In addition, the investigation identified six locations for us to obtain additional evidence. On February 6, which was last Thursday, search warrants were served at those six locations, and the following items were seized. We seized approximately 40 pounds of marijuana with a street value of about $32,000. 
We seized about eight pounds of methamphetamine with a street value of $28,000. We seized $10,000 in cash, two handguns, three assault weapons, and several high-capacity magazines. In addition, we collected several pieces of evidence related to our double murder. I'd like to take a quick moment to thank the tactical teams and detectives from the Alameda County Sheriff's Office, the Hayward Police Department, the Fremont Police Department, the Oakland Police Department, and the Richmond Police Department. These organizations served and or assisted our detectives at each of the six search warrant locations. Yesterday, the District Attorney's Office and the Juvenile District Attorney's Office reviewed our criminal investigation and all the associated evidence for the two suspects in this murder. One suspect, again, is an adult and one is a juvenile. As a result of that review, 18-year-old Jason Cornejo from Castor Valley and a 17-year-old juvenile from Hayward have both been arrested and charged with the murders of Kevin Hernandez and Sean Withington. In addition to all the investigative efforts, I'd like to recognize the men and women of the Union City Police Department for their focus and determination on patrol. In the immediate aftermath of this crime, we increased staffing in the neighborhood to prevent additional violence and to keep attendees safe at several scheduled vigils. These additional patrols resulted in several enforcement stops where a total of five handguns and one assault rifle were all seized from suspects in the area of this double murder. I share this because it was a volatile time in our community, and in my opinion, our officers prevented additional violence and tragedy by removing these dangerous weapons from the streets. As a police department with limited resources and high expectations, I want the men and women of the Union City Police Department to know that their efforts are recognized by me and our leadership team, by our community, by our community leaders, and the community at large. Lastly, I want to ensure that our community realizes that, yes, in fact, we are proud to announce the arrest of these suspects. However, it is our goal to prevent further acts of violence in the community by our continued partnership with our Youth and Family Services team. Our Youth and Family Services team works collaboratively, collaboratively with our police department day in and day out to try and prevent these types of crimes through several violence prevention programs. I want to end by expressing my condolences to the families. Many members of our department have children of the same age, and this horrible, violent crime affected us tremendously. But it is nowhere near the pain and suffering these families have had to endure. Our thoughts and prayers continue to be with these families through this difficult time. Thank you. All right, next I would like to introduce California Attorney State General Javier Bracera. Good morning. I'd like to begin by thanking Chief Renetti for inviting uh, me and the, the representatives of the California Department of Justice and our Division of Law Enforcement to be here. Uh, in this particular case, our Bureau of Investigations uh, our director is here, Chris Calgiri, and uh, Assistant Director Louis Lopez, both here. Our Special Operations Unit uh, was part of this team, and we were proud to work with our uh, brothers and sisters at uh, Union City Police Department and all the different law enforcement agencies that you heard uh, Chief Renetti mention as well. Uh, I would say that um, the anguish, the disbelief, the apprehension that people felt that the end of last year, learning uh, the news of these two homicides, uh, that's never going to go away. And we all have a responsibility to try to do what we can to try to help people understand that we'll do the best we can to change the dynamic. And in this particular case, a successful investigation, arrest, and we hope prosecution of two suspects, while it may not extinguish that anguish, that disbelief, that apprehension, maybe what it does is bring a sense of direction and purpose that we have to find some conclusion, some resolution to these types of 
senseless acts of violence. And maybe what it does is it also encourages people in our communities who probably know a little bit more than they may be afraid to tell to come forward. Because as you heard Chief Renetti say, you cannot do this without a team. And it took more than the Union City Police Department. It took more than just the local surrounding police departments. I suspect Chief Tony Chaplin of the Hayward Police Department would say the same thing, that he counts on the Union City Police Department to help it on occasion, and we all do. And so we need to work as a team. And I would just ask the neighbors, the relatives, the friends of the victims and their families, let's, let's be part of a team. We, we have to work on this together because it is good when we have a successful investigation and arrest, and it will be good if we successfully, through the Alameda District Attorney's Office, uh, with the lead of Nancy O'Malley and Mr. Dunleavy, are, are able to say that we brought a measure of justice in this case, but it's going to take a lot more than that to help us prevent the next incident. And so I, I think there, uh, I think our message at the California Department of Justice with our team at the Special Operations Unit that work closely here, boots on the ground, providing surveillance and intelligence help, uh, our message is we, we need more team players. And I would urge and ask the families in our communities to help us, help us prevent these type of senseless acts of violence. Uh, if you know something, if you see something, let us know. You can see how quickly we can move when we have a team to work with that can act. And so I, I want to say thank you, Chief Renetti, for allowing me to be here. I am proud to stand with the individuals who are here today, and I thank each and every one of the men and women who did all the work that aren't standing here, who did all the work that make it possible for us to tell those families of those victims, we hope to exact a measure of justice for you, but we need some help. Thank you. Next, I would like to introduce Chief Assistant District Attorney Kevin Dunleavy. Good morning. On behalf of Alameda County District Attorney Nancy O'Malley, I'd like to announce that the District Attorney's Office yesterday filed two counts of murder against Jason Cornejo and also a juvenile copart in our juvenile court system uh, yesterday. Uh, we have also alleged special circumstance murder in the sense that two uh, murders were uh, occurred. So we have alleged multiple murders in the special uh, circumstance allegation. The complaint also alleges a uh, gang enhancement in that these killings were done with the benefit, direction, and association of a criminal street gang. Uh, Mr. Corneo will be arraigned today at the East County Hall of Justice. Uh, on behalf of the DA's office, in the cases that we prosecute, all murders are tragic. But when children are gunned down in this particular senseless way, it is particularly shocking to the community. Uh, the Alameda County DA's Office Victim Witness Assistance Division is already working with the families of the victims as we go through this process. And I would just want to point out that, uh, as Attorney General Becerra has said and Chief Renetti, that this has been a partnership and a collaboration of law enforcement at its best to bring these two individuals to justice. And we will continue in our efforts with Supervisor Valle's office, the Union City uh, government, the Union City Police Department, and the community to do our part in fighting uh, the senseless violence that occurs with guns and street gangs. Thank you. And finally, I would like to introduce Mayor Carol Dutra Vernacci.
Good morning. As you heard Chief Jared Renetti say, we are incredibly relieved to be bringing justice and closure to our community on this case. My deepest sympathy goes out to the families of the victims. I know that as much as this may bring relief to them, this does not bring back their children. Having this type of tragedy happen in a community is something no mayor ever wants to see. Our city and the residents who live here are deeply invested in our common goal of keeping this community safe. We support our police officers who work tirelessly every day going from call to call. We know that being a police officer can be a difficult job at times. We thank them for all of the hard work that they put into aggressively solving this case. The public may ask, what are you doing to prevent this from happening again? We know that violent incidences like this one rarely happen in Union City. This particular case occurred when an outside gang came into Union City to wreak havoc. We value the youth of our community. We know we have kids who are struggling to stay on a straight path. We will continue to work with them and to remove barriers to enable them to graduate and get good paid jobs. Our Youth and Family Services mission is to provide effective, high quality, and innovative services that prevent and intervene in youth violence by addressing the underlying issues that contribute to the violence in our community. These services include such things as counseling, case management, crisis support, life skills, mentoring, and outreach. We have been successful over many years with carrying out this type of program, and certainly at times, youth have fallen through the cracks. But with our street outreach workers walking Union City streets every day, I am confident we are finding those at-risk youth and helping them one by one. Since this crime took place, there has been an outpouring of emotion, particularly since the victims are children and this occurred on school property. We know that it will take time for our community to heal from this event, but certainly, we are safer today with these violent perpetrators off of our streets. Lastly, I want to join the Chief recognizing the outstanding dedication of our Union City Police Department, our Hayward Police Department, Alameda County Sheriff's Office, the State Attorney General's Office, and the Alameda County District's Attorney Office. The City Council and I have been routinely updated by Chief Renetti over the course of this investigation about the long nights and days that everyone worked on this case. We know this impacted their personal lives. But we also know that they did this because they placed a high priority on serving our community. Thank you for being here today.